What's going on, family? Thanks for keeping up with us on the journey. We're here with another week of Bible study. And if you haven't been watching along, we got all the videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You can catch up by just clicking on any of them and just been seeing what God's been speaking to our hearts and what we've been sharing to yours. So before we get started with this week, I want Ashley kicks off with some prayer. Laura, well, you want to tell us about this week? No, I'm going to tell you after prayer. Keep it a secret. <laughs> so say your prayer, please. Okay. God, we love you. We thank you. We come to you in the name of Jesus, thanking you for your love, your peace, your kindness, your grace. We thank you that you are our provider and you are our everything, Lord. We just love you so much. We ask you that this word sticks to us and that and that we understand it and we know it and we ask that it's our guidance and that we just all live it. We love you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. This week, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 13 to 17. It's something I really picked up from my dad growing up and seeing him live it through some of the trials that he went through. And so I got a lot of experience firsthand with this text, but then recently God showed me some things that I wanted to share with you. Mm -hmm. So starting at verse 13, Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith, which is will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The armor of God. The armor of God. Okay, so I, I heard you read all that. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about protection, we have protection everywhere. Mm -hmm. Why not on the back? Yeah, you talked about the helmet, talked about the breastplate right. and all that stuff. And for me, there's two takeaways, two observations. Mm -hmm. There's probably a million more, but one in the old days when they went out to battle, the Roman soldiers, they fought shoulder to shoulder and back to back. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have armor on the back because they knew someone next to them would have the back covered which wow. for us today that's why we need community you can't just live your life alone following jesus we need brothers and sisters to go shoulder to shoulder back to back mm -hmm. so we can protect and guard one another part two to that which is what i really like and what god kind of showed me is that we can't live our life moving forward if we're constantly facing backwards mm -hmm. if the battle's in front of us we need the protection on the back and we shouldn't be turning our backs Right. to be exposed and as long as we face forward with the weapon and armor that God's given us his promise is he'll cover our back so even if there's a moment you know late at night you're going through some depression some sad times mm -hmm. you got the front covered and you don't have a brother and sister to cover your back God said he got your back yeah so as long as you keep moving forward know that your big brother Jesus got your back the whole way yes yes we get this picture back in the Roman times of what the soldiers wore. Mm -hmm. So how can we apply this to us every day? All right. Well, first thing, and I, I know it's kind of uh, inferred from the text. That's what I get. It's like, it's talking about put on, put on, so you can stand, so you can stand. But nowhere in the text that I ever read where it says, take off. Mm -hmm. So, so many times I think, you know, we have this image of, oh, i got to put it on every day. It's like, no, it's a faith. It's not an actual get your helmet out the closet, you know, get your sword. It's, it's figure of speech for us to see where God has us in his state because of what Jesus did for us. Where now do we stand in relation to him? Mm -hmm. So I think it's a, a spiritual stance that this is where we should operate from every day. Okay. So it's like, okay, we put it on. But don't ever try to take it off. Right. But then we're, let me turn to it real quick. It was a Ephesians 6. Mm -hmm. When I think about us, how do we apply it to our lives today? And it's like, mm, I'm not going to battle physically, but I do need to arm myself mm -hmm. for the battles I'll face mentally, yeah. for the battles I'll face emotionally, for the battles I'll face on the job or with people. You know, they get on my nerves and I... I need to be able to hey, withstand. I need to be able to. They might be physical. They might get physical. <laughs> I pull out some real weapons. No, let me just stop. But it says Ephesians 6, and you know, we got all these different pieces of the armor. I want to strip away the armor and focus on how we can apply it to ourselves. Mm -hmm. First one, it says we need to have truth. 
which means we should be rooted and grounded in truth. Not the lies of the world, not the lies of our past. Lies will get you swaying to and fro and all off course. Yeah. First and foremost, get yourself some truth and mm -hmm. stand rooted and grounded in that each and every day. Mm -hmm. The next place, it says breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate covered your heart. Mm -hmm. And I believe righteousness is where we stand with God because of what Jesus did. And deep down in our heart, our heart should always be surrounded with the fact that we have right standing with God because we've accepted Jesus our Lord and Savior. Yes. Next is preparation of peace. So before you go into any battle, you should have peace leading you. Yeah. You got an attitude, anger leads you, it's not going to end well. Right. So make sure you have peace guiding you each and every step. And peace truly can only come from above. Yes. Next we have faith. And it's like, okay, faith is my protection. I go out saying, God's got my back. God's always going to fight my battles for me. So I have faith that as I step, as I go to this battle, as I go through this journey, God's already working it out for me in the end. Yeah. Then I come down to helmet of salvation. That talks about our minds and that our minds are saved, that our lives are saved, that our mind is steadfast on the fact that we've been saved because of what Jesus did 2,000 years ago. Mm. He's worked it out. He's defeated death, hell, and the grave. He's defeated all the things that would try to come and attack us. So if our mind can stay set and say, God's already done this. Right. You can move forward in victory. And then the last one, it said that sword of the, of the spirit, that's the word of God. So many times we want to fight our battles with our mouths, with our anger, yeah. driving on the road and thinking we're going to honk and yell and that's going to win the battle. Yeah. Might make us feel good right then. <laughs> but the real battle comes to an end when we insert the word of God. Wow. We insert the word of God in our hearts, in our minds, and then it becomes a part of who we are. And yeah. it transforms how we live, how we talk. And then we see victory, not because of us, mm -hmm. but because of the word. Yes, Lord. And we didn't read it, but the last little layer of that is, it says pray always. Mm -hmm. Prayer is just simply communicating with God. If there's an area that we just talked about that you're not sure about, say, God, I don't know if I got peace. Mm -hmm. God, I'm not sure about this faith fall. Ask him for help, and he's promised to give it. Yes. And there's how we apply the whole armor of God every day of our lives. That was so awesome. There it is. You just went through the whole thing. <laughs> the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. That was so great. If you have any questions, comments, concerns. Prayer requests. Prayer requests. Anything that has to do with Bible study, please DM us. Um, you can comment below. We hope you enjoyed this. We love you. We'll see you next time.